Alright, <clears throat> we're gonna do some meatballs. How many meatballs today? Been wanting to do these for a while. Unlike my singing, I will save you the uh, the video of chopping up garlic and par I got parsley. And I got what? Big old five good size cloves of garlic. I'm gonna mince them up. And I'll be back. Good morning. I got a pound of ground pork. Here's the diced up. It's almost a whole a little spleef of uh, parsley. And there's my garlic. <clears throat> Chopped up nice and fine. I'm going to go with this is about three pounds. I'm going to use about two pounds of it. So I've got two pounds of ground, 80 20. And a pound of ground pork. That's what we got here. I got. I couldn't find any Italiano Reggiano, Parmesan Reggiano. So all I got some um, regular Parmesan, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, garlic, parsley, breadcrumbs. I'm sure I'm missing something, but let me start putting it in here. Oh yeah, eggs. About an egg per pound of meat. So three eggs. Sure, I'm still missing something else. This is a six, five ounce bag. If I can get it open. Wow, that's dry. Hopefully that melts into there. I'm gonna put the whole bag. This stuff's tough. I like leather. Yeah. I should have chopped it up. It's a little big. No way it'll break up. Three eggs. Black pepper, how much? Not that much. Salt. Onion powder. Granulated onion. Garlic powder granulated. This new uh, Mike's hard lemonade with lager shandy. It's kind of weird. Let me throw a little slap your mom in there just for good measure. There we go. And a little bit of a little bit of olive oil to help lube up. And what meatball would be complete without a little bit of shot of what's this here sauce? Alright.
Next time I would take all my uh, spices and mix them with that egg and bleat, beat the eggs up and mix it all and then have a and mix that with it. This would make this easier. So I'm mix it very good. Pause this and mix the shit out of it. You get the idea. No, you can't even see. All right, I added probably a little over half a cup of water, just a little bit at a time, trying to get the right consistency. Here is a little dry. You want it to be a little kind of wet. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So that's what I did. Added more of that, a little more salt and pepper, and I wrote the rest of the cheese. I went ahead and put the rest of that bag in. So gonna be good I mean, I'm gonna put this in the fridge for an hour let it all chill together get to know each other let them breadcrumbs soften up and do their thing before we separate these little buddies into little bally friends but um so that's it I'm gonna do this in the fridge for an hour let it get get to know each other better and we'll do the next step later so check it out I've been busy today I got the yard mode got some bills are paid running around but anyway, I've been wanting to do this. Look, I got this big old countertop with no outlet, of course. The only outlet on the over here is way over here. You see that? <clears throat> no outlet near the top. So this whole counter space is useless for, you know, putting uh, any kind of cooking appliance over here, like my roaster and stuff. So I finally added one. How about that shit? Nice. So now I can put my roaster here whatever man all kinds of shit make use of this big countertop anyway just wanted to show you all that all right it's been about an hour smells way better mm. so i was gonna do i want to do ammo heads uh pepper jack cheese gravy but i don't have the stuff to do it so I'm just going to do some of them in either this or the uh, Alfredo type with some bow ties. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to have so many I'll be able to do different stuff with them. So, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, that's what... Uh, that's blurry. Alright. Check it out. I got the cheating tool. Yeah, buddy.
Let me make the rest of them. We'll be back. All right, here we got about 20, what, 29? 29 meatballs out. Ugh. Good size ones, too. All right. Oh, boy. I'm heating up the skillet. We're going to fry them up. And uh, that's about it. A little bit of oil in there. A little bit of earl. This is some butter flavored stuff. Sing it again. <laughs> you can bake them on a cookie sheet too. But I ain't doing. cook these up for a little bit and we'll check back with you Smells so good. A little more grease in there, I think. Help them out. It's gonna be good. side or something. All right, I've decided I'm going to finish these off in the oven. Cook them nice and even that way. So I got the other ones doing, browning up just like I did these. They ain't, they're not done yet. Now we're going to throw them all in the oven. Yum! Meat. 
It's gonna be a meatball bonanza, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna do ammo heads. I'm gonna do yours, Mike. I just gotta get the uh, some stuff for that. That looks killer. But I got the cheese. I gotta get some more though, bro. All right, later. Okay, so the ones I'm eating tonight, I put in my uh, sauce here. I'm gonna finish cooking them in the sauce instead of the oven. Get that flavor into the bowl. The rest of them are in the oven. And I'm not gonna overcook them. I'm just gonna get them a little underdone. That way, when I cook them with other meals, it'll, they won't be way overdone. But that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna I got the water heating up for some bow ties, and I'm gonna have some Alfredo and meatballs. I'm ready to eat, man. Yum. All right, later. Look at this piece of fucking garbage. I turned the power the breaker off twice and left it off for like a minute and turn it back on. It still comes on high. Piece of shit fucking Kenmore. Look at it. It won't turn off. And they say it's not their fault. There's nothing defective on their end. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Scumbags. Never buy Kenmore shit. Great, I can't even use the fucking oven now. Alright, I had to go turn the breaker off to shut this piece of crap down. Meatballs are done. I brought them up to 165 around there. That way they're good. They're not when I use them for whatever else. This is good to go. The pasta is done. I'm letting it drain. I'm going to plate it up in a minute and try it out. Damn, that's going to be good. All right. Well, it's still a little hot, but yum, yum. Cheers. Let's see how these taste. You got. Oh, yeah. All right, then. See that? Pretty darn good. You got a good texture to them. Not dry. It'll be good. Got a good little flavor to them. Oh yeah. There's a million ways to make meatballs. You've seen it all. But either way, anyway, it's good. Make you some, they're good. All right, I'm going to eat. And uh, I'll check you later. All right, bye. Peace.